My name is Charles Barksdale. I'm here with the Texas Rowing Center. I'll be giving you a brief introduction into the world of rowing. The first thing we want to cover is the grip. As with most sports, the grip is very important. What we want to do is have a feather-like grip using the fingers with a thumb on the end of the oar. This is going to keep the oar extended. Having the thumb on the end is going to keep the oar extended and in the proper position. Just hold on to it with your fingers so you have a nice light grip. This is going to allow you to square and feather the blade properly, which is one of the most important things in rowing. We square the blades by turning our fingers and locking the blade straight up and down. There's a flat spot that matches up with another flat spot here in the oar lock that helps it seat itself. And then we go ahead and turn it back to the feather position and it locks itself into place. You also keep your hand on the end of the oar to give you the best leverage. This is a simple lever, and if my hand was to walk down here, we would lose a lot of leverage. So you want to keep your hand right on the end so you get the most out of each and every stroke. One thing people do in rowing is they hold on very tightly. And what we want to do is think about keeping a nice light grip so we keep our upper body relaxed. If you imagine yourself hanging from a pull-up bar, you don't need to grab the pull-up bar to hold on to it. You just use your hand as a hook. And it's very important that we just use our hand as a hook to pull the blade, draw the blade into the body. This keeps us nice and relaxed and helps the stroke work fluently. One of the things about uh, this, like golf, per se, is there's a lot of technology built into the oar. So if we let the oar do some of the work, it's going to help us out.